Suppose we want to represent integers using three bits. We can interpret each bit string as a binary integer and represent any number from 0 to 7. However, with this scheme, we aren't able to represent negative numbers. So let's use the second half of the slots to store the negative integers from minus 4 to minus 1. If we want to perform arithmetic with these numbers and stay within the system, we should wrap around. In other words, the result of any arithmetic calculation performed on these numbers will be whichever one of the numbers differs from the integer result of the calculation by a multiple of 8. To sum up this scheme, if we have n bits, then we represent the non-negative integers less than 2 to the n minus 1 as their binary representation, and we represent the negations of the numbers from 1 to 2 to the n minus 1 by subtracting from 2 to the n. If we have 64 bits instead of 3, then we can use the same scheme to represent every number from minus 2 to the 63 up to 2 to the 63 minus 1. This is the standard system for representing integers on a computer. Now suppose we want to represent real numbers using 64 bits. So we have to choose 2 to the 64 numbers to do real arithmetic with. Spacing the points equally doesn't work well for most tasks because either we can't represent small numbers accurately or we can't represent large numbers at all. First things first, let's dedicate one bit to indicating the sign of the number. Then we have 63 bits for each half of the number line. Let's put many equally spaced lines between 1 and 2 and then copy that setup to the interval between 2 and 4, between 4 and 8, and so on, and also between 1 half and 1, 1 fourth and 1 half, and so on. To specify one of these ticks, we can indicate which power of 2 we're between with the number e formed by the 11 bits after the sign bit, and we can specify a particular tick between those powers of 2 using the remaining 52 bits. This means that we get 52 representable numbers between each pair of consecutive powers of 2. We can write down a formula for the value corresponding to each bit string. We multiply minus 1 to the sign bit by 2 to the e minus 1023 plus f times the tick width for that interval. The point of subtracting 1023 is to center the range of exponents we want to be able to scale down or up many times, starting from the interval from 1 to 2. As an example, the third representable value greater than 2 has an E value of 1024 and an F value of 3. There is one problem with this setup at the bottom end. The smallest representable non-negative number is 2 to the minus 1023. So we make a special rule for the e equals 0 value and use it to represent numbers all the way from 0 to 2 to the minus 1022 instead of just the numbers in the second half of that interval. These are called subnormal numbers.